On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, guan. A blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps, uh, to the name of Friday the day when Mr. Michael smile upon some of the ones and ones them pack it. So while you're out there, my peeps, traversing uh, these streets, safe travel. Pan the gravel and as always my peeps continuously look out on a corner yai kazwa the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts yeah man me i tell you now we are gonna kick it off this morning here with some international stories coming out of the island of bahamas where a jamaican man this jamaican man presently on your screen found himself on the receiving end of some fatal can of can to his body. Now he has since been identified as James Sands. The police in Bahamas are stating that his lifeless body was found on a fisherman's village marina known as Bimini yesterday. The official stated that the 32 year old victim was found sometime around noon. Now the police are now stating that a 28 year old man is a person of interest in that particular matter. So on the spot news media will most definitely be staying on this one to see if we can figure out who really is the deceased Jamaican man James Sands and seek to identify his personality and why someone would want to take him out in such a fashion. Yeah man. Now back to local style. Now we're back in a territory lane. The police are now stating that they have taken into custody another criminal element in relation to the mass murder over there in territory lane, Maple Clarendon, that took place on Sunday, August 11. Now the man that has been taken into the custody of the police has since been identified as Leighton white otherwise known as bonds said to be of a mapen clarendon address now reports is that white that is Leighton white aka bonds attended the police station in the parish reporting on condition of bail on a previous case of knockings and clappings and he was identified and held by the police the territory lane knockings and clappings as we all know left a portion of people lifeless and a number also seriously injured now these criminal elements that are being taken in by the police one by one two by two the deputy commissioner of police stated that they have nine so far in the custody of the police but we have not heard that one of the major players is in the custody of the police other than the two main players from behind bars who are still behind bars. We are talking about Tuffy and we are talking about Black Azan. So what about the other main players? Because we also get to understand that another top tier gangster from Mapen Clarendon known as Jerome. The same Jerome that vibes cartel sing boat where him say me and jerome are the real dan dada that man theme name also a call in the thing but we all know who jerome is and we all know the connections and ties 
that Jerome have on the ground locally and also internationally. We know that he has political ties also to the Jamaica Labour Party. He is also a very good friend and he has political ties to the now incarcerated Dan for Tivoli Gardens, Christopher Dodo Skook. So, this brother here, if he is really involved in what we see go on, knowing the Jamaican system, knowing how the Jamaican authorities, especially the political arena, go to work, the maga try to shield certain people and push out the little fry fry them. And then, next thing you know, it is swept under the carpet and just mask it to make it look like, say, something was done when the liquor fry fry them is taken off the streets. Just like the liquor fry fry, we get mash up. What do you have done at all gate? We need to hear some of the big names they may call. Man like Beanie. Man like Tuffy Lee. And if Jerome is really involved, we need to hear about him. The liquor fry fry them, you know. It's just like you try to kill a tree. But you get one of them big shaping scissors and just shape up the tree and make the tree look nice. The tree not dead. You just shape up the little limb them, drop off the little limb limb them all over. And basically so far, at that we really see a go on. But early days yet, we could give the authorities some time to see if them are going to allow the politics to interfere in this investigation. And 10 to 1 chance, that may just be the final result out of it all because we all know that politics play a big part in everything in Jamaica. And why I say that? Watch this. Any party in power can remove the commissioner of police, put some pressure upon him, and them can appoint the commissioner of police one to their liking. And the same thing goes for the JDF because the head of the JDF really and truly is the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And the head of the JCF really and truly is the security minister. So they do have a say-so in who runs certain organizations in our dearly beloved island home, Jamaica. But let's hope, let us just hope that politics don't play a role in this one and certain things is swept under the carpet and we only get the liquor fry fry them that is easily replaceable by tomorrow morning. Now the residents of Cherry Tree Lane are now stating that their community will never, ever be the same again. And I'm in total agreement of that. Now one resident was speaking on Cliff Hughes Online yesterday. And he related what had taken place. And he's even saying that, hey, if I hadn't left that get-together in Cherry Tree Lane when I did, I would have probably been conned up or even worse, murdered. Now, we're going to hear from that man that they identified as Wayne. Now, listen to what this person had to say. The gentleman who was having the party, when I went there, I was coming from work. I go down the back of the this building, go pay one bill, I want shop, I come and scrap there briefly. And I buy my drink because it was his birthday. And he said to me, say, soup is there ready, and food ready. He said, give me a soup. He gave me a soup clip. And he said to me, say, the chicken ready, but the gravy not ready yet. He didn't want pork. He said to him, say, you know, say, me and the pork, because I'm a 7 year He laughed. He said, he said, he said, no, man. So he, was, he didn't want me to wait for the chicken gravy. He said, no, give it to me. And he said, I'm going to give me the soup clip. And I started start to sit the soup. When they give me the food, I put the food in the chair and jump away at the same time. Anyway, I just stop there to wait on the gravy. I was that in the pit the food there. And if we the food there, I was being here this morning talking to you. That's how close it was. The eight people that get killed, I know everyone and 
interact mm. except for two. It's a closely knit community. Everybody knows everybody. By somewhere, it affects somebody because somebody connected to somebody. It runs very deep. Ask your news person who went there. Ask them what they saw. They yes. saw grief, pain, yes. anguish, bitterness. For years to come, church children won't be the same. The citizens of church children won't be the same. So this is not something easy. This is not something small. This is not something simple. A whole heap of police officers and, and soldiers and teachers live in churches. More than six police officers you know, live in churches. Yeah. And soldiers and nurses and all kind of people, you know, decent abiding people live in churches. Yeah. So the rumors that went around, the stigma, it's not true, please. Just like everywhere where criminal elements, you know, go and, and do them things. Church is, is just one of those places where criminal elements might pass around there. But it is not a bad place as our people make it so and make it look. It is not. The perception is out there. Yeah. Over time, the criminal have this belief that they have a safe haven in Jamaica for justice and certain members are out of the bar. And as if the criminal have a sense of belief that they are protected by Jamaica for justice. It can be only helpful if she withdraw, publicly withdraw, the statement sincerely apologize completely with the statement these criminal elements have no regard to life and just as well they have no regard to life i think they lose the right for their life well i'm in total agreement with this man that residents lives of residents in the church lane community in four parts maybe in clarendon will never ever be the same again now over there in the Kingston Western Police Division, we have seen where joint police military operatives from our security forces, the JCF and the JDF, have put on some decent spot of work in the community of Craigtown since its recent flare-up in crime and violence where many have lost their lives. Now we see where the police and soldiers have ramped up their operational activities. And we are going to hear from Senior Superintendent of Police, the man in charge at the Kingston Western Police Division. That's Michael Phipps as he weighs in on this latest round of security operations in the Craigtown community. Listen. The Kingston Western Police, with the support of our JDF counterparts and specialized operations, through intense policing activities have managed to impact the general Craigtown area of the division. We have had some activities which included intervention, curfews, targeted and snap operations where the main perpetrators of violence in the area were our main focus. We have been able to arrest and charge a 17 years old male from a Penn Street address, Kingston 12, uh, Kingston 12, with a double murder which occurred on the 28th of July. We will remain in the area and, of course, continue our joint operations and restore calm to the general community. Now, the last thing that we are going to talk about is coming out of the Kingston Eastern Police Division, a section of the Kingston Eastern Police Division known as Burger Gully. Well, for those who have been tuning into on the spot news media for a mighty long time, would have seen we are covered several vlogs surrounding the Burger Gully community involving this criminal element known as Kojo and his rival known as Talis. Whole heap of things go on where that one is concerned. Whole heap of knockings and clappings go on in other place. Now, on the spot news media is getting conflicting reports that this criminal element here, presently on your screen identified as Kojo, is no longer among the land of the living. Now, we cannot confirm as yet, but we definitely are do some digging. And if Kojo is really no longer among the land of the living, he will most definitely be getting the Kana boy anthem. But we know how them criminal elements are working. He just may be no longer among the land of the living. Or it could be another criminal tactic. We have seen where criminal elements stage their own loss of life. And then, boom, deceive the members of Chan Public and the police 
we feel so them lose them three points until them strike again. Then voila, the dead criminal element reappear. So we don't know for sure if Kojo really kicked the bucket or if this is another criminal tactic. But on the spot news media will most definitely be staying on top of this one throughout the rest of the day to see if we can unearth the truth for really figure out if Kojo is no longer with us. Yeah man, say so anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.